what is going on my darlings thank you so much for clicking it's me aj and i am here with olivia rodrigo's sophomore album titled guts i thoroughly enjoyed her debut album sour so i look forward to this album it's been requested that we listen to this album together so y'all already know what we're about to do without further ado my darlings Let's get into this lesson. Track number uno, All American B. I am light as a feather and as stiff as a board. I pay attention. I'm sorry, did she just say I am as light as a feather and I'm as stiff as a board? Man, what does that mean? You ain't got no rhythm? What's popping? Hey, at least you can be picked up. That's all that matters, so. Let's keep listening. I make jokes about senseless cruelty, that's for sure. Mm. She's got a dark sense of humor, huh? She said, and I'm all right with the movies that make jokes about senseless cruelty, that's for sure. We are desensitized as a nation. I am built like a mother in a total machine. I'm built like a mother? What does that mean? some time with that chorus but let's keep listening shall we darling Was there something else? So I really loved that outro. Not the biggest fan of the chorus and the bridge. God, the bridge sounded like straight up noise. For now, track number uno is... Okay, I'm gonna need time with it, sonically. Lyrically, I didn't follow what she was trying to convey. Track number two, bad idea, right? Is it just me or does Olivia Rodrigo's voice or tone remind you of um, Taylor Swift a little bit? So she said, yes, I know that he's my ex, but can two people reconnect? I only see him as a friend. That's the biggest lie I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you're honest about your lie. So let's keep listening. Friends, it was asleep, but I never said where in his sheets. Bad idea. All right, bad idea. You weren't so bad. All right. Y'all, so when it started, not gonna lie, it's kind of iffy, okay? It, it um, I didn't know where it was gonna take me, but then she got to the pre-chorus, and then the chorus hit, and it, it just, just flowed. It made sense. <laughs> Me gusta, Olivia. All right, so this song is about reconnecting with an ex you know damn well you have no business reconnecting with. 
and she is at least she's being honest you know about the lies she told <laughs> track number three vampire <gasps> valid okay hate to give the satisfaction asking how you're doing now put y'all on game a lot of y'all already know this because you grown okay but if you ever get in contact or if you are courting with someone who puts down your ex or exes they are a walking red flag and you need to get away from that person because as soon as y'all break up they are going to do the same thing about you not a battery issue. What the fuck happened? What? Night sucker, flame fucker, bleeding me dry like a goddamn vampire. Okay, so that was Vampire and I loved the lyrical content. The song is good, right? But I feel like it kind of lacks a wow factor for me. Yeah, but it's a good song. It's something that I would listen to again. I love the build up, but it lacks something for me. Track number four, Lacey. Lacey, oh Lacey, skin like puff pastry. shit out of the song didn't she um so that was gorgeous i didn't care to read the lyrics because i was captivated by the sound of the music and wow she's in love with this lazy person huh who the hell is lazy by the way olivia not you dipping in the lady pond <laughs> wait Track number five, Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl. Not me expecting the goddamn ballad. Girl! I'm 
Conversations in her song, huh? A lot of talking, not a lot of singing. Olivia! You wanna be a rapper girl? It's popping. Homeschooled girl. Girl. Um. Punk rockish. <laughs> Not my favorite. Not my favorite. I do enjoy the instrumentation though. I loved it. But, you know, the vocals. Not vocals, I'm sorry. The, um. Is it the. Not the vocal performance. Just the, the sound of the song composition is not my favorite okay track number six making the bed another rock one so got it did it so it's done another day pretending i'm older than i am another perfect moment it doesn't feel like mine Is Olivia 21 and over? Cause she said, getting drunk at the club. Love me! This is a distraction. Tell me that they love me like I'm some tourist attraction. The change well, you are, scary. girl. It's me who's been thinking the bed. I'm so tired. This is such a lovely song because I believe majority of celebrities or people in the limelight can relate to the lyrics. The song, based on my understanding, is about her journey so far, right? In the limelight. She definitely wanted to be an artist. It's something that she wanted to pursue. But the thing is, being famous comes with a lot of negative um, consequences. I love the song lyrically. I thought she did a great job um, vocally and it's something that I would listen to again for sure. Track number seven, Logical. does that please leave because why the hell are you comparing your current situation to your past something ain't right with you honey 
fuck is wrong with you? I look so stupid thinking two plus two equals five. I'm the love of your life. Logical, love is never logical. I know I could have stopped it all. God, why did I stop it all? Alright, logical. Logical made some logic. So the song is pretty straightforward. I'm just glad that she um, finally realized this trifling ass person she's singing about. She realized her worth and she um, walked away. Um, so the ballad, I love it lyrically. But I just feel like it's it's a little bit too stripped down for me. I loved her vocal performance for sure. The song itself is not memorable. I'm just talking about the sound specifically. It's not memorable for me. Track number eight, Get Him Back. This is the song with the drums. I met a guy in the summer and I left him in the spring. He argued with me about everything. Another song, another crowd, another bar, another dance. And when he said something wrong, he just brought me to friend. Oh my. That was Get Him Back and Girl. Um, hmm. Definitely not my favorite on the album. Don't like it lyrically. It's a little childish, sound wise, lyrically as well. But, you know, it's something that we go through. You know, we want, we have that one person we want to make jealous, we want that person back. And we go through the wrong ways to get that person back. It's not a song that I will listen to again, for sure. Track number nine, Love is Embarrassing. Wow, Jesus. Um, love is embarrassing. Whew. So Olivia really loves punk rock, doesn't she? Because it's quite infused in this album. Um, sound wise, I don't care for it. It's not something that I want to listen to again. Wasn't really the biggest fan of her vocal performance, those um, sound effects she was doing. Overall, the song is okay. It's, like I said, it's not something that I will listen to. Lyrically, it's quite straightforward. It's about just fucking with the wrong person, essentially, and doing things for their approval when they're not even over their fucking ex. But yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the song, y'all. Track number 10, The Grudge. If nightmares each week about that Friday in May, one phone call from you and my entire world was changed. Oh, I hold it like a grudge. Now I hear your voice every time that I think I'm not enough. And I try to be tough, to strength. Forgive, but I don't feel strong No, I try to understand why you would do this all to me but You must be insecure, you must be so unhappy I say that I'm fine, but 
do it for me it's I couldn't quite distinguish between the first and the chorus sound wise um, the bridge was okay it's about holding on to the betrayal of an ex and she is having a hard time letting go forgiveness it's not for the other person because truthfully, whatever you have going on up here truly doesn't affect anybody else but you. Just so y'all know, okay? You can be mad as fuck at somebody and they are out there living their best lives because they don't know what's going on in your head. Nobody can read anybody's mind. So you are carrying all this weight and you have this grudge against somebody who truly doesn't give a fuck. So forgiveness is for yourself. It's not for the other person. So if you can try to forgive um, and let go for you, not for them. Track number 11, pretty isn't pretty. Loving the intro already. insecurities and damn in her case it's magnified because she sees herself everywhere in terms of the song it's an okay song sound wise it's not my favorite it's not something that I look forward to listening to again it's I don't know there's something missing in this album the chorus is memorable at least so that's that because i it's playing in my head pretty is it pretty enough at least that part of the chorus is memorable other than that it's all right track number 12 last track on this album teenage dream <gasps> is she closing with a ballad when am i gonna stop being wise beyond my ears and just start being wise When am I gonna stop being wise beyond my ears and just start being wise? When am I gonna stop being a pretty young thing to guys? Honey, it's coming. Oh, it's gonna happen soon. I'm sorry. This is the from the perspective of Olivia at this age, so you know. But I listen. No, they haven't. They haven't gotten the best parts of you yet. The best parts of you are coming, honey. And when this wide-eyed affection and all good intentions start to not be enough, will I spend all the rest of my years wishing I could go back?
Teenage Dream, the closing track of Olivia's sophomore album, Guts. Hmm. Um, loved it lyrically. It's Olivia with time. You're gonna get everything you asked in this song, okay? Just give it some years, girl. It's coming. Um, uh, yeah, sound wise, it's okay. With that said, well, we have finally come to the conclusion of this album. And quite honestly, I didn't enjoy it as much as I did Sour, and I feel like it's because there were two types of sound in this album, punk rock and some form of ballad, and that's it. But in her previous album, I feel like it was more diverse in terms of sound. This one, not so much. Not my favorite project of 2023 i don't have many goddamn marks on this album i actually only have two and my favorite two songs on this album are bad idea right and lacy lacy is definitely my favorite song on the entire album yeah y'all i i don't have much to say about this project except for i don't think it's something that i would listen to again I'm not in a rush to, you know, play it because not much was captivating, not much kept my attention. So that's that. Please let me know in the comment section what songs were your favorite, if you had any. And if you've given this album a second, a third, or fourth listen, please let me know if the songs actually grew on you, okay? I wish I enjoyed this much more, but I just didn't. Don't get me wrong, I still think that she is a, a pretty good songwriter and she has potential, but this sophomore album is not, it's not my favorite sound. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to watch this video um, uncut, please head over to Patreon. The video is gonna be posted as well. Thank you again for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, um, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.